Binomial distribution is used to find probability of getting X success in an experiment that is repeated N times or in a survey that involves N samples. Binomial distribution satisfies three characteristics. Number one, the number of observations or trials is fixed. Number two, each observation or trial has only two possible outcomes, namely success and failure. And number three, each observation or trial is independent, which means that each observation or trial has the same probability of success. Probability of getting X success in N trials is given by NCX times P to the power of X times Q to the power of N minus X for X from 0 until N, where X is number of success, N is number of trials, P is probability of success, and Q is probability of failure. Note that Q is given by 1 minus P. The mean for binomial distribution is given by n times p, while the variance is given by n times p times q. Also, note that the two important parameters in binomial distribution are n and p. Probability of binomial distribution can be found by using formula or by using table. To find probability, first look for the combination of n and p in the table. If the combination of n and p exists in the table, then the probability can be found by using table. If the combination of n and p does not exist in the table, then the probability must be found by using formula. The value of n is given in the first column of the table while the value of P is given in the first row of the table. Let's look at an example. Suppose that a random variable X has a binomial distribution with N equals to 8 and P equals to 0 0.2. Now, the combination of N equals to 8 and P equals to 0 0.2 does not exist in the table. Thus, the probabilities must be found by using formula. To find probability of x equals to 2, substitute the value of x, n, p, and q into the formula and calculate the probability. To find probability of x greater than or equals to 7, take the summation of probability of x equals to 7 and probability of x equals to 8. Substitute the value of x, n, p, and q into the formula of each probability and calculate the probability. To find probability of x less than 6, take the summation of probability of x equals to 0, probability of x equals to 1, probability of x equals to 2, probability of x equals to 3, probability of x equals to 4, and probability of x equals to 5. This is too long. To make it short, take 1 minus the part that we don't want, that is 1 minus probability of x equals to 6, minus probability of x equals to 7, minus probability of x equals to 8. Substitute the value of x, n, p, and q into the formula of each probability and calculate the probability. Lastly, to find probability of x between 3 and 7, take the summation of probability of x equals to 4, probability of x equals to 5, and probability of x equals to 6. Substitute the value of x, n, p, and q into the formula of each probability and calculate the probability.